We have another humiliation happening in video games as PlayStation just unveiled that it's available to wishlist Ghost of Yotai. This is another game that Sucker Punch might want to delay for a year. Uh, we've seen a lot of problems lately, and uh, gosh, this type of thing is upsetting gamers as the characters they love are getting replaced with diversity, equity, and inclusivity, as always. And we're going to get into this in just a moment, and the reaction that fans had uh, from the Ghost of Tsushima original game, not good for PlayStation, in just a moment. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Join us here as we talk about all things in the culture, especially science fiction and fantasy. My name is John Delarose, and I am a science fiction author and a comic creator. This is my newsletter sign-up, which is right in the description below. And for signing up, you get a full graphic novel and two novels, one uh, science fiction and one fantasy for you guys so you can check out my work and enjoy things here and of course stay in touch because uh, we never know what's going to happen on these platforms i really appreciate everybody who's on and uh, thank you guys so much for uh, just making everything a success so far you guys are the modern audiences that i'm looking for uh, not quite the modern audiences that PlayStation's looking for. <laughs> so this is what they posted today. Ghost of Yotai, the next adventure from Sucker Punch Productions, is available to wishlist today. And then they have a link, of course, uh, which you can load and then check it out on the PlayStation Store. Here it is, the announcement, and it's going to release in 2025, as they say. Now, this game got savaged about a month ago when people started noticing differences from Ghost of Tsushima. And like normal, like in every sort of thing, it got replaced with a strong female lead. And, uh, and since they replaced the character in that front, people started going, hmm, this doesn't look good. Now, it actually caused division among gamers because some were like, look... Uh, this is just a, if this is a side story, if it's a different story or whatever, we don't care that much. Uh, you know, I mean, this might be good. The original game was good. Uh, and then people started looking into the production. And sure enough, Sucker Punch Productions had a bunch of DEI stuff all over their, uh, their little website and all the other things that they do. It looks like the design team and the devs that were the original Ghost of Tsushima people were not involved in this. And then it was replaced by also a mostly female team. Now, Sony, of course, uh, put that they wanted DEI initiatives into everything as well. So this has a uh, sort of hmm, perfect storm, I guess, of just uh, crappiness uh, looking like it's going to be coming out of the series, much like we saw with the Assassin's Creed Shadows, where Ubisoft just decided to take a Japanese samurai situation and turn it into a black gay samurai, uh, sort of Black Lives Matter uh, infused nonsense, which is destroying that entire company as we speak. It is uh, a complete disaster over there. So this looks like much the same. And then, of course, the final uh, death knell uh, for the game is the voice actress that they chose is some absolute radical activist who is absolutely crazy and uh, just uh, hates everything that gamers stand for in general. And uh, once that came out, it looks like this game is going to be in big, big trouble. Now, uh, as PlayStation revealed this, uh, they got savaged in the comments. And they know that they're going to have trouble on their hands as the gamers are rising up once again against a replacement character in one of their beloved franchises. So as you get into things, I'll wait for reviews. Would rather her be an assassin than a samurai because she has another female samurai. We'll see. Uh, just pass immediately. No commie activist deserves an income. Oh, my. And placing the article from That Park Place where it was unveiled that this Erika Ishii uh, is crazy and thinks that police are white supremacists and is a big supporter of the trans stuff. I, too, identify as non-binary. Oh, that's excellent. I love that. Uh, that is a quality when I'm going to hit like on this one. Uh, and how about no? Uh, given the cultural climate, the fact that you've decided to choose an unattractive female lead, I'm in wait and see mode. You had a sale, guaranteed sale. And in fact, this is this is a real customer, guys, for real, that they're losing. And uh, hopefully they listen. Uh, I had a platinum trophy for the first game. Couldn't wait for the second. Now I'm not sure. Here's how you can make sure I never buy a sequel. Gaslight me, insinuate my eyes don't work, that she's incredibly attractive, and I'm just a sexist. Gaslight me, insinuate I'm a potential customer is sexist or racist or phobic for simply noticing your design choice. It's not likely you'll be able to salvage this one, honestly. I can't imagine how you win me over between now and release. Stay away from gaslighting. Focus on why the game looks fun. This is something that like is just very... And the guy's like, look, I'm rooting... This is, he's like, I'm rooting for you guys. I, I love Ghost of Tsushima. And you guys just need to focus on why the game's fun, why this is something that I actually want to play as a fan of the game. 
And uh, it's it's amazing that these companies never end up doing this. <laughs> it's like he knows exactly what the marketing play is going to be in advance. They're going to start shrieking about gamers and the like because this is what always happens. It's really, really sad when these SJWs get involved. I recommend heavily avoiding marketing the female lead as inherently great. I didn't buy the first game because I got to play as a man, so I won't be buying the second one because I get to play as a woman. Maybe if you essentially beg gamers to buy this game, maybe I'll decide to pick it up. However, this playing dumb about your own creative choices or gaslighting material, uh, potential customers as sexist is not a sales driver. It's a franchise destroyer. Good luck. You need it. One resentful uh, former customer. So uh, that's a that is a big big uh, 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 <laughs> deal there, and this is the type of person that you would think these companies would want to listen to. And we've seen some smaller studios actually like do this sort of thing. We've seen over the last uh, couple of weeks, we saw Moon Studios and uh, their dev over there and their CEO just talking about how they want to focus on gameplay and things like that. And it looks like the guy's a liberal. I mean, it, it does uh, based on some of the stuff that he said. But he also understands that his job's like in entertainment. This is an entertainment industry, and you're supposed to provide players what they want. Now, when a sequel to a game that's very popular, you typically go out and you you take the characters that people love and, uh, and of course, uh, just make a sequel with a story. We've seen that Dragon Age The Veil Guard is doing the opposite of that. They're taking the characters that they love and downplaying them in the new edition of it because they want to make it their own. And this reeks of very similar story choices right here. When you see the design team who's completely different uh, and of course uh, completely female it looks like somebody who wants to like make their own game and is just kind of using the franchise rather than actually somebody who's actually trying to continue a franchise and create something off of the glory of the first game and that's the problem everybody's so egotistical in these spaces at this point that they have to like leave their mark on everything they have to make it their own choices own voices right and uh, and that's what we're seeing across the board here and this is why gamers are frustrated because they're seeing that this is likely to be happening with this game already. Ghost of DEI time, <laughs> not buying this trash. That's funny. Hard pass because the lead role is an insufferable activist. This is DEI shite. Too woke, I'll pass. Next game, please. They did Jin dirty. Jin is the protagonist of the original one. And as you see, following the successful launch of Ghost of Tsushima, Sucker Punch greenlit a sequel two months after the game's release, once sales data confirmed its commercial success. While the main development team moved on to other projects, a smaller team remained focused on Ghost of Tsushima Legends multiplayer mode and downloadable content, which was included in PS5 game and PC versions of the game. Originally, Ghost of Tsushima 2 was intended to continue the story of Jin Sakai. However, Ghost of Yotai, the heroine, is a new character named Astu. Atsu, sorry. Astu. <laughs> uh, the report indicates that Sucker Punch utilized the assets they had initially created for the sequel to develop this project within the Ghost of Tsushima universe. So the new team of devs, mostly female, came in and decided they wanted a character to look like us rather than actually following up on the character that everybody loves. And of course, of course, their next marketing play is going to be to call gamers sexist, try to attack people on that level, and it never works well for them. We know how this works. Uh, something's going to come out. They're going to cry harassment just because gamers push back on this sort of thing. And, uh, you know, this is what happens every single time. And it's not uh, just the simple matter of just putting in a female character into the game, as we know. Uh, the the Zelda game, Echoes of Wisdom, well, I, I personally think that's a choice that uh, shouldn't have been made by Nintendo in this climate. Uh, it seems to be pretty fun, and everybody seems to be enjoying it. Uh, you know, uh, maybe, maybe I took the L on that one, guys, but is what it is. And, uh, of course, Stellar Blade uh, was something gamers enjoyed pretty well this year. So it is just like this look where it is pretty obviously DEI infested. This looks like a self insert of that activist lady who is actually uh, her uh, sort of uh, uh, voice actress there. And it's a big, big problem for the series. Oh my gosh. Uh, PlayStation's getting ratioed. Absolutely crazy. Leave a comment down below with what you think. Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.